Hey there, internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another episode of AC Saturday, my weekly Saturday show where I sit down and talk about anime and or comics. Uh, continuing through my journey with My Hero Academia Season 2 today, uh, we have the episodes uh, Shoto Todoroki Origin and Fight on Ida. Uh, in last week's uh, episode, last week's video of this, I kind of talked about uh, after the uh, Uraraka um, versus Bakugo fight that uh, we had spent like a whole episode on that uh, and I was hoping that we would see kind of a uh, similar trajectory moving forward there of like more focused episodes on like those singular fights we'd get these big epic fights and we got that in this first episode Shoto Todoroki in the fight between uh, uh, Deku and Shoto um, Oh, where pretty much the entire episode was centered around the two of them with some flashbacks uh, of Shoto's kind of upbringing uh, in their interspersed throughout, but it was mostly centered around their fight. Um, and then you get the complete opposite in the next episode, Fight on Ida, where we go through five fights in that one uh, in the span of that single episode. So uh, kind of running through Shoto Todoroki origin first, um, I loved how... Um, I, j I loved this episode. I loved the... the the fact that Deku basically says, like, I I want this with all of me, and the fact that you only want it with half of you, like, d uh, he, he basically pushes Shoto to, like, fight his all and, and be, you know, yeah, Shoto had him on the ropes with just his ice powers, um, uh, and I love that uh, we see Deku basically giving it his all, uh, like busting finger by finger by finger to kind of fend off Shoto's attacks, and we see that Shoto ends up starting to get weak um, uh, because he is so ice heavy in that bout. Um, and then we see Deku kind of like going to the 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 lengths of like he can't make a fist anymore, he can't do anything um, with that, so he like uses his his like mouth to uh, to like use the All Might power. Um, but ultimately, he gets Shoto to like embrace the fire side of him. Um, uh, I, there's a lovely kind of parallel scene with Shoto and his mother watching kind of those uh, early clips of All Might and saying, "I want to be a hero just like we've seen," um, you know, from young Deku's perspective. Uh, so I loved kind of that they both have that same mere drive. Um, even though Shoto's is much more colored by uh, his his upbringing with Endeavor um, and and him kind of pushing against that side of him, but ultimately he does embrace the the fire side because Deku's again got a great line in here. Like Shoto says, you know, I'm not going to use his power or whatever, and Deku says it's your power too, isn't it? Um, great, yeah, just great scene there, uh, and it ultimately leads to Shoto winning. Um, they, there's like a big epic blow-off bout where the Cementos and uh, uh, and kind of the judge lady um, basically like C Cementos intervenes by like throwing up a whole bunch of big pillars to uh, to kind of cut down on the attacks that the, the two have upon each other but ultimately Deku ends up out of bounds uh, so he loses the match. Shoto will advance and then, uh, and then we see basically like the toll it took on Deku, uh, kind of pushing himself beyond those extremes, beyond those limits. Uh, Recovery Girl basically says, "I'll heal you, but I'm not going to do this anymore. Like you need to learn how to control your powers. Your hand is going to be uh, like permanently messed up because of the damage you did to it here, and that's going to be a reminder that like don't push yourself that hard, um, because it's not worth it, kind of thing." So. Um, and then we also get the, the bombshell dropped that uh, All Might himself was quirkless, and that's why he, um, we see, I think, chose Deku uh, instead of somebody like Shoto. Um, and, uh, and so we, we get basically that they are more alike than, uh, than, they, they had, than Deku had even thought. Um, so uh, that was a great little moment for, for Deku to kind of get that revelation. Then moving on to uh, Fight on Ida. Um, we have, again, five kind of fights, and we kind of bounce through the rest of the quarter and semifinals um, to set up a final match. Um, and then the subplot that's going on in this episode is Ida uh, trying to, like, reach out to his brother and, and, uh, and his family, and, uh, and his brother Tensai, like, gets caught up with the hero killer Stain, who... I believe was introduced at like the the closing tag image of like the last season, but I don't think we've seen him s since this season. 
um, very gnarly looking guy with lots of swords and stuff, licking, licking the blood off of his sword uh, at one point when we see him. Um, and so, yeah, Tensai dies, and uh, Ida, after kind of going through and, and fi- uh, like fighting and then ultimately losing, um, finds, get, like, gets that call. And so it'll be, it's, you know, going to be very tragic and, and sad to see kind of how he handles that moving forward. And it definitely seems like that's going to be the end game is kind of the, you know, the battle against Stain, the hero killer, um, after this, the competition, which is nearly done now. Uh, wraps up. So, uh, in the fights themselves, you had um, a quick burn through of Ida versus the Vine Girl. Ida won that one by kind of rapidly pushing her out of the the arena. Uh, you had Pinky versus Dark Shadow, uh, with Dark Shadow winning that one. K- uh, Kimishima, who uh, had advanced after like the arm wrestling competition, goes up against Bakugo, and Bakugo basically outlasts him, gets Kimishima to uh, wear himself down uh, to the point that his body hardening power is weak enough that Bakugo is able to kind of uh, incapacitate him um, and then we get kind of the the semi or the final yeah the the quarter no semifinals those are the quarterfinals then we get to the semifinals Todoroki versus Ida um, Ida uh, tries to basically take what he learned from the fight with Deku but uh, Todoroki is still able to like Todoroki doesn't go back to his flame power he still relies entirely on ice in this one um, and again, kind of pushing against Endeavor, um, cause he's not gonna just immediately flip that switch and go with that. Uh, Ida, we think might get like a, he, like he, he gets close, he gets in, he gets to, uh, to Shoto and then he, you know, starts to run him out. He knows like how much time he has with his super move thing. Um, but Shoto ended up, uh, being able to basically block the jets with his ice power. So, uh, he ends up uh, incapacitating and getting Ida out of there. Um, uh, and then lastly, we have Dark Shadow versus Bakugo. Bakugo basically uses his explosive powers to keep the Dark Shadow at bay. Dark Shadow is constantly kind of uh, playing defense, and because it doesn't have enough time to recharge um, the darkness with all of Bakugo's light explosions and stuff, uh, Bak- uh, like he basically has to say, I give up, and uh, we see Bakugo move forward. So it's going to be Bakugo versus Shoto in the finals, uh, in the next episode, uh, and also we're going to see kind of the aftermath of Ida dealing with the fact that his brother has been killed by a villain. Um, so tragedy has struck. So um, again, really like great fight scenes and stuff like that in, in these episodes. Um, I, I wish we'd gotten a little bit more from these kind of semifinal and quarterfinal, or yeah, quarterfinal and semifinal bouts, um, like we did with uh, Shoto versus Deku. That was a great episode all around, just kind of focusing on that one fight. Um, but uh, it'll, it, I so I, I imagine we're going to get that in the Shoto versus Bakugo episode too, um, where we'll get to see kind of the two of them really go at it next week. So those are my thoughts on these couple episodes. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, I've been your host, Trevor Starkey from trevortrove.com. You can follow me at Starkey on Twitter. And until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.